Laguna Beach has some of the most beautiful beaches and coastline in California. Today we'll learn how faulting, a durable rock formation, and a touch of volcanism created the breathtaking coves of Laguna Beach. So the beautiful arches of the Arch Bay, they're no mistake, they're no accident at all. In fact, uh, how they formed was through a weakness in the rock that was exploited over time as waves over thousands of years crashed in this area and they're able to chip away at this weaker part more so than the surrounding rock. With enough time, that weaker part gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you get a basically a tunnel, one of the arches of the Arch Bay. One of the ways to get a weakness in rock is by finding a fault. And sure enough, we have a fault right above here. And right where we have the fault in the rock, which would have weakened it right in a definite area, that's where we have the arch. In addition to the arches at the Arch Bay, faults explain the, ex the existence of the sea caves here. So if you look behind me, there are these multiple sea caves, and right above each one is a specific fault. And so, uh, where we have these sea caves throughout California, if you ever find one, look up. You might be right underneath a fault. So I'm in the sea cave now and basically what you see is there's this crack that goes all the way back. And that crack which forms kind of this central axis, if I can orientate my fingers right, yeah, of the cave, that's where the fault is. So it's no surprise to us that, um, you know, where the, the cave cuts back its deepest part, it goes right along the fault as we predicted. that makes up Thousand Steps, and much of Laguna Beach for that matter, is the San Onofre Breccia. And I've talked about the, this formation uh, several times already on this channel, uh, but there's a couple things to know for this video. The first is that it is a sedimentary rock that is formed of many smaller rocks within it called class. And the class in a breccia are quite large. Uh, they can um, get to the size of, of, a, of boulders, basically. Um, and they're also very angular. They're not nearly as rounded as the rocks in a conglomerate. Instead, uh, they're much more blocky, indicating that they haven't traveled far from their source before they got deposited uh, in the San Onofre Breccia. Now, the second thing to consider about it is that it's a very durable rock. It's much stronger than many of the other uh, rock formations in South Orange County. And for that reason, whereas other rocks would just completely erode away, in Laguna Beach, where we have the San Ovi Breccia, you get these, these real big cliffs, these beautiful tight coves, and these reefs. And so, uh, to answer, in part, the question that we asked earlier, why is Laguna Beach so beautiful? I think a lot of the responsibility goes right here, to this puppy, to the, the San Ovi Breccia. Pay attention to that name, Breccia. You're going to be hearing it a lot more on this video. Breccia. 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 So I'm at Table Rock Beach right now to learn, well, about Table Rock, uh, which is what you see right behind me. And the story about Table Rock is one about living in the moment. Uh, so to explain, uh, basically the lower uh, part of Table Rock includes a really large class, basically boulders. And there's a contact uh, with a finer material, more uh, sandy material above it. And you can find the same contact on either side of the beach. Uh, and basically Table Rock has been separated from its brethren, from its family, and isolated as this little kind of rock island here in the middle of the beach. This is a snapshot of a moment into time. There's once much larger, it's been um, shaped down by waves over thousands of years to what it is now, and with thousands of years more, it's not gonna be around forever. It's gonna turn into basically just sand and go away. So it's a reminder uh, to, yeah, basically enjoy what we have. All of the major rock formations that we enjoy today, you know, the, uh, the Grand Canyon, Halong Bay, Uluru, they're not gonna last forever. Um, they're gonna one day erode and turn into dust. So we gotta love them while we can. So, wow, good looking rock, Table Rock. So here at Treasure Island and in many places throughout Laguna, one of the coolest things to do is to check out the tide pools. And they're particularly good here. But what I wanna underscore about them it's just the importance of the rocks because without 
this durable San Onofre Breccia, we wouldn't have any tide pools. If we just had that weak rock that crumbled away, there'd be nothing to provide an anchor, a literal rock, for a habitat to basically be supported on. Uh, and so the San Onofre Breccia is very important, as we talked about for forming all the cliffs and beautiful coves, but it also provides habitat for all of the marine organisms that we love to see in the tide pools. Um, you know, to build off of this, it really does kind of blur the lines between geology and biology. Um, because what we find is, you know, you look at uh, shells in here and the calcium from those shells, that's coming from rocks, from minerals breaking down, releasing their, their cations, uh, which get picked up by organisms in their growth process. And it's all kind of one of the same, so uh, I, I think that's kind of wonderful. So next time you're at a tide pool, um, appreciate the, the biology, but also give geology a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, oh, that's, that's kind of neat too. Or maybe it's all the same thing. I don't know. It's cool. It's wonderful. Yay, tide pools. Okay, we're now at Victoria Beach, and in high school this was kind of a cool place to hang out. I, uh, I didn't really come here that much, but uh, we got some we got some breccia here. Uh, but you know, maybe maybe we should just get out. Yeah, let's let's keep going. What we have behind me is more of the San Onofre breccia, you know, the stuff that we've been seeing uh, a lot of so far today. Uh, but if we turn around here, and I'm turning, uh, we have uh, basically a long stretch of beach and there's no more San Onofre breccia. So what happened? So we're basically at a uh, contact uh, between one formation, the, the San Onofre breccia, and another one, the Topanga group. These are just we call the Topanga Formation. Point is, it's sandstones that are uh, weaker than the San Onofre Breccia, so they give way into this long stretch of beach that just continues all the way to Main Beach. It's way more boring in my opinion. So geologically, right here is about the division between North Laguna and South Beach. And uh, I think it settles the age-old question which side Laguna is better. I say South. So check this out everybody, I think it's pretty cool. Here at Crescent Beach, the point that is uh, behind us here on the other side of the beach, that's all San Onofre Breccia. You know, the stuff that we've been seeing this whole time today. But if we look at the rocks that are right, um, kind of behind me right here, this is a completely different rock type, right? It's not like what we've seen. Where's the big um, boulders? Where's all the layers? What we have here is a homogenous rock. Um, it doesn't look anything like what we saw before, and the reason is is because it's it's totally different. It's not a sedimentary breccia. Instead, this is a volcanic rock. This is andesite, and andesite is something that was once magma. Um, it either got all the way to the surface um, and became a true volcanic rock and became lava and then solidified, or it got really, really close, and we're going to round up and just call it uh, volcanic anyway. Um, what tells us that it got close to the surface is that it, it cooled pretty fast. Um, it, you know, if we look here at the, the rock, there's not um, any large crystals that we can see, which tells us that it was hot and it got cold really fast, which tends to happen towards the surface. But the real question here is, what on earth is it doing in Laguna Beach? There's no volcanoes around, right? The explanation of volcanic rocks in Laguna Beach has to do with what's been called the tectonic rotation of Southern California. During the Miocene over 10 million years ago, the Santa Barbara region was much closer to San Diego. But tectonic activity rotated it outward and created the coastal arc of Southern California that we know today. It was during this time that the San Onofre Breccia was deposited. The rotational movement broke up rocks and created many faults. Magma exploited these weakened rocks and intruded into them, forming vertical planes of igneous features called dikes. The andesite at Crescent Bay is an area where magma pushed into pre-existing rock. At the contact of andesite with a small piece of Monterey shale, we can see how the shale was folded as the dike pushed into it, contorting the rock into a syncline. At nearby Divers Cove, there's a fantastic dike that cuts through the Topanga sandstone. So we have our sedimentary rock up here. You can see kind of some crumbly layers, but there's still some strata. You go down and right here, there's this really noticeable contact. You've got your sedimentary rock above, and right where there's that color change, that's where we get our andesite. Um, so that's the contact with volcanic material. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling and get into the sun here. So 
If we go to the other side of this outcrop, you can get a much better look at the andesite. And check it out, if I zoom in close enough, you might be able to see individual crystals of feldspar, which is that kind of lighter colored material there. And it, it breaks similar in a way, you know, it kind of, if you squint your eyes enough, it looks almost like, you know, your generic lava rock uh, that you might see in Hawaii, only it's, it's a totally different composition. Uh, it's, uh, you know, got different minerals, but it still behaves in a similar way. So there you have it. The beauty of Laguna Beach has a whole lot to do with its geology. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to Poopy Archaeology for more videos about the past.